Hey, you know what I think? I think that my should know their history before they tell me what I am or what I ain't, first and foremost. But look, don't nobody run no whole state. Don't nobody from out of town run nobody else state. Point blank, let's get that there. I could be connected with him as hell of her over there, and he still don't run the state. I could be connected with anybody, and he don't run the state. So, like, look, this for Atlanta. You the blue team, know your history before you speak on me, cuz. Dead homies. It's gangsters everywhere because it's a hell of gangsters in Atlanta. I just said that gangbanger wasn't like that when I got down there in 05, my boy. Oh, look, I was down there with Big Meech and all them, gang. You know what I mean? Like, it was a whole lot of money. And that's cool and all that, right? I just don't understand. Like, it, so, so you proud of being responsible of bringing some shit that, you feel me, ain't really been beneficial to the community or our people, and, and, you know what I'm saying? I understand the camaraderie. I ain't trying to knock this who, it, it, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to real Crips, though. The Crips who taking care of their kids. The Crips who is being family men. The Crips who is handling their responsibility. You know what I'm saying? But for you to, it, it's, I, I seen somebody speaking on this shit, bro. Like, I don't understand how you be so comfortable to speak so freely about, you know, uh, uh, criminal activity, bro. And, and I'm just saying, though, it is, it ain't really nothing to be proud of, bro. If you saying you the one who brought the cribs or, you know, was a part of that, that ain't nothing to be proud of. You feel me? You didn't help destroy the community. Still was getting that issue. Still, shit, hell, I got robbed down there. The only time down there in my life that I ever been robbed. But I think it was by the New Orleans or Katrina time. That's a whole other story. But look, I got plenty love for the A. And all the head of hood. Black, street, pep, sunny, long, 50, uh, uh, big twine, Ken. Hey, I could keep going on. You get what I'm saying? Like, all, all the niggas on each side, nigga, rest in peace to Troop, nigga. That was my nigga. You get what I'm saying? Troop know the truth. You get what I'm saying? Draco 100, man. All the biggest, nigga. You did? Yeah, man. So, that was break with a PSA, too. Yeah, Atlanta niggas who, who of course, was going to take uh, offense to some of the shit Brick was saying. Like, you talking about you run Atlanta and you, you know what I'm saying, you the biggest in Atlanta and just hella shit, bro. Like, when I don't even know if you really boots on the ground like that, I do remember your history as far as fucking with Long Way and NPA and all. It just don't even come across right, though, still. You being from Cali talking about you running another nigga city. Oh, roll the 60s. I bet you young and ace don't do no. Until we holler, yeah. I bet you don't do no shows in Atlanta. Because mm -hmm. I'm the king around that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you won't be doing no shows in Atlanta. You won't be doing no shows in the Carolina. Nothing around there, mm -hmm. bro. Like, come on, man. Like, like I ain't even tripping because your boys is getting into it. But at the end of the day, all y'all got to do is say, yeah, we overreacted to the shit that you said. Because I said I watched the clickbait video. Right. But the mm. way you niggas popping it, nigga, I don't never say sorry to niggas on the dead homies. I'm from 6 so nigga. Mm. Oh, ugh, we bar none, nigga. God forgive, 60s don't. Nigga. That you barely boosting the ground in, you know what I'm saying? I, I, like I say, I know you under you didn't spend some time there and shit. But, yeah, man, there's some crazy shit. So, so some Atlanta niggas. And, and shout out Toxic Media for doing his research, you understand me, and, and, and doing his due diligence. But some Atlanta niggas had end up, like, you know, of course, taking offense to the shit Brick was saying and was just telling him to watch his mouth and you don't run shit and, hey, whatever. Just hella shit, bro. Just just basically. Not, and who's to say whether or not them niggas is clout chasing? But the thing is, I, uh, 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 Brick didn't throw him an alley-oop for that. You know what I'm saying? By by saying all the shit you didn't say and, and whatever have you, he could have just ignored them niggas. But, and, but, but, uh, back to the real shit though. Like, come on, man. Nigga talking about he is responsible for bringing some more destruction to a nigga community. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's something to be proud about. Is that something to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, man, it's crazy. And the thing is, right, you, you, it's, I just see a lot of niggas, right, in the, that's going, doing this YouTube shit or trying to jump into the media space or calling themselves a journalist or whatever the fuck the case is, but they, they not, uh, they not in the right space to be even giving out information or commentating on shit because they coming from a, 
a standpoint that's just not all the way mature, not not like you understand me, you not secure in, in, in standing on whatever fuck you stand on because you gotta think about what your homies gonna think and you gotta think about this and all this other shit. You understand me? So a lot of these niggas, I be seeing niggas politics about bullshit and they defend bullshit and they promote the bullshit and they, and it, and, 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 but at the same time, it, nigga, it's entertainment. I understand that part of it, nigga. I understand, but, but it's like at, at what expense though, nigga? At our expense, you feel me? It's, you know, I, you know, I feel like shit, like at points, at times, bro, I can kick back and watch certain shit and don't even gotta, you feel me, be uh, Sharif. You feel me? From, from, uh, Men's society, the nigga who was preachy and shit like that, right? But on the other end, you see some fake shit, you gotta... Nigga, like, hold on, what the fuck? Because a lot of niggas, they... Like, like I don't know, bro. You, but shit, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. You got break, nigga, breaking the... You know? He don't give a fuck, nigga. He said he responsible for that. And that's what I'm saying. So you in the media space, right? But you get... You openly telling the world... You... Especially you being a part of the biggest platform, you... Big biggest platform as you is, right? And you get on there and tell the world you're responsible for. Just imagine the upstanding Atlanta people or the people who is trying to just make some progress as far as this hood shit go or whatever, right? Hearing Brick say he responsible for setting them back hella years with that crib shit and with this shit, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, it's not, I don't knock the camaraderie and we need to be together. You feel me? Because united we stand, divided we fall. And But the thing is, even the, with that shit, what it do is create, the, we need to be on some all so-called, you know what I'm saying? Some people shit. Some, I would, I would say, of course, it's some, some, some so-called black shit first. Then after that, we need, because once we got ourselves intact, then we can, uh, 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 collaborate with other folks, you feel me, who are like-minded, and we can get some progress, but shit, y'all niggas let me know what y'all think, I don't mean to talk y'all, you know, you know what I'm saying, 